Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Positively glad here, and tonight we are here with our second F1 stream of the day. We are here at the picturesque track of Baku. Take it counts as episode number 48, which translates as season three, F race eight. We are this far through the championship, guys. We're beginning to motor through these. I've had a very, very lucky day. I've been able to get on stream a lot for you guys today. And we are going to try and roll as best we can to do Baku. Been showing some reasonable pace. Um, around about the 10th to 15th mark. So hopefully we can pull in a good little run in this qualifying session. We're going to go straight in, guys. And um, because I'm on rush time, because I'll be doing another stream later on tonight with Ravatron89. I'm going to be going straight in and doing the voicemail. Let's go. Goal for this weekend. Thank you, Emma. Qualified 19th or higher, they really have no high hopes for me around this track. <laughs> um, no idea why. I've had a really, really good practice. Uh, a lot of resource points. And we're aiming at the 1,000, by the way. But just to show you really quickly before we get on. Um, we are going to be aiming at doing the chassis factory efficiency. Number 2, 1,000 points. And then we're going to start motoring on them and hopefully then be able to get moving. We're going to get straight onto the race, guys, and let's get going. Qualifying time. At the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Oh, yes. Want to go copyright issues? Hopefully we can do this. Race against time, of course, as we are doing an Elder Scrolls stream with Rautron later on tonight as well. Circuit has rubbed in with practice, but this is still... Now they said this would be all dry! Drivers ...as they fight for pole position. Welcome to qualifying here they in Azerbaijan. They said this would be dry. And this isn't dry. With the weather as it is today, Anthony Davidson, we have, to some extent, to throw the form book out of the window. Who do you see having what in the why? on this slippery, unpredictable I've been fed the wrong information by the team. these are very Adrian Newey conditions. The Red Bull's habit of creating incredible downforce coupled with the high rake they like to run is perfect for the wet. And it's helped Prime them free travel power here, a number of times over recent years. I think Force that? India as well, always a bit of a dark horse in changeable conditions. And of course the McLarens have a fairly good chassis. Having said that, I don't want to make a firm prediction. More than performance, the deciding factor is going to be the timing. The level of wetness out on the track is going to constantly rise and fall. And anyone who can find that perfect window when it's at its driest will have... I don't really want to do the zombie apocalypse, I don't really see the attraction in that. Three views guys ready, thank you so much for watching. But what's the weather Because this said at the start it would be dry, so... I guess I'll be going on intermediates with a 3-2 setup. This is going to be a disaster. I'll have to go and do an early lap. I'll have to do one early lap. I'll have to do it. There's no choice. Here we go then, guys. If you want to catch up on the Canadian Grand Prix for my usual evening viewers, please be sure to check out the YouTube channel. Link is in my Twitch description. But this is not on the this is not on the menu. I have an absolutely dry setup. But this now is going to prove to be very treacherous. Wet round Baku, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. Basically, guys, the race engineer told me, and the guys in the factory told me, Baku would have no rain, and there was no rain forecast earlier in the second, earlier in the session. It was all dark cloud. So, a little bit concerned here and confused, but we'll be all right, hopefully. Oh shit! Still running away. <laughs> running the wrong components as well. So what I'll do if I get a good lap. I'm going to literally just breeze into the next qualifying and actually do my components there. Problems arise here. They really do. I did not expect this at all in the slightest. I'm tempted just to go in and wait. Let's try up, but if it doesn't dry up and last, which is going to be an issue. I'm going to try it on max fuel, why not? 
Might as well have a goal, but I don't think it's going to do much. Shocking times here at Baku. Try and get the best out of the car we can, obviously, but... Spanner in the works. Grosjean behind us, who has been very, very close to us in the last couple of races. Uh, we've been battling with him quite a bit. Bar in Monaco, I'm not including that as the last couple, honestly. This is going to be an awful lap, but... Just wait for the track to dry. If it doesn't dry, we'll just take this and run with it. As long as we beat my teammates, it's all that matters. Um, this. this has been a bit of a disappointment, though. I want it to be a bit higher up the order than this. If it was dry, I'd be flying around here. Obviously, I have an absolutely dry... I'm bitching still. An absolutely dry setup, but not ideal. This is going to be lethal. Someone's coming through, which is good, but not coming through quick enough by the looks of it. Shocking lap, this. A 57, I'm not going to get near that, I don't think. Awful lap. I, I don't know what to do about this. This is just throwing me right off. Full dry conditions, it said at the start, and I'm currently sitting down behind Verline. Alright. This has ruined me. Van Dorn, if he beats me, I'm in a lot of shit right now. Is it going to be dry quick enough, though? It is, by the looks of it. Just beaten. Here we go. We've got a bit of dry track. Right, okay, right. I'm going to literally nail... I'm going to have to go in and nail this now. One time, one time only. Good Lord. Um, right, dry. Where are we up to? I have to literally wait until three minutes to go. To go out. This is clutch like hell! I'm not going out yet. This is going to be really tense. i got to risk... i got to do this now. I've got worn components. That's... Well, they're sort of worn. They're a little bit more worn than my qual normal qualifying ones. But at least I can use my qualifying ones and save them a little bit. That's good. We'll take many grip penalties, but I need to outqualify Van Dorn here. Palmer is 1.1 seconds down. Van Dorn's actually overtaken me as well. This is really worrying. Um, I'm actually going to go and put like five laps of fuel and do two laps with these tyres. No, I can't. <sighs> Jesus. Um, Ericsson was just behind us. Four tenths. Look, they're all sort of close down here. But no, they're not. We're nowhere near each other. Um, Vettel and Hamilton, Bottas, Raikkonen, they've run away with it. Um, Ricardo was absolutely smashed a lot to me. Guys, if you're new to the stream, by the way, new to the channel, please just drop me a follow. A regular streamer on this. Doing FIFA, Elder Scrolls, and, of course, F1 2017 as we speak. Not all at the same time. That'd be incredible, but nope. <laughs> So, Jolian Palmer is currently sitting in second, based on lack of activity on the track. Uh, we're going to go out in approximately a minute and a half. And hopefully then we can nail a good time here. I'm not sure if we're going to get through. Oh, 
Um, yeah, we'll, I'm just gonna go out and hope. Hit and hope, yeah. Hey, Doug, nice to meet you. I'm not sure if you follow me up, my man, but awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Van Dorn, just, you couldn't have timed that better. Really couldn't have timed that better. Um, yeah. Um, the clock is ticking. Van Dorn, we know, isn't going back out, so that's good. We beat, we're going to, well, bind him at the moment. The dream lap. In, oh my god, the, well, there goes the Toro Rosso, just come back in. The Toro Rosso isn't going to get through. We have one crack at this. But you can see the track's still wet. Oh my god, Jesus. No pressure yet. Ninth in the driver's standings already with 24 points, I believe. Yep, 24. A fourth, a sixth, and a tenth. Or fourth, a sixth, and an eighth. And Dawn's gone straight back out. They're all going to have a chance to do better. A lot of these guys aren't going to get round. Whoever gets round last will get through to Q2. We may see Van Dorn in Q2 for the first ever time here. I mean, it's a running, running joke that I have that he's absolutely fucking awful on this game. And he's not scored a point in three years. Neither has Ericsson. But today may be the hope. So you never know. You never know. Right, okay. This car handles running back. This car handles their ass better. You can tell there's no slide off the edge of the corner. That outlap has been fucking sensational so far. Hopefully the actual flying lap can do, be as good. My target, but I want to beat. I gotta beat my teammate. That's just a gimmick, really, isn't it? Oh, feeling the switch at 185 miles an hour. Yes, guys, this is on 100% AI. In case anyone was wondering, uh, in case we've got any new guys here, here we go then. Lap time in the 44s is absolutely necessary here. Well, luckily, we got back round because I'm on a 3 2 setup at the moment, so that really didn't really help me much. Everyone's going to get round, so whoever the last guy across the track, across the line is at the end. We'll do the business. I wonder where this is going to put us, actually. This is going to be quite curious. Intriguing, so to speak. Elder Scrolls stream, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. That is going to be coming up directly after this. That's why I've got on with the job here. Scrappy Castle. This may have cost me Q2. This guy's still in the pits on Inters, they're off the fucking tits. We're on course at the moment for 40, uh, 48, which is nowhere near good enough. Check a flag, so whoever doesn't get the lap time done now is out. I think everyone who's out on track is safe. Oh, I've hit the wall! Oh, it's over! It's over! No! Oh, fuck, man! Fuck! Oh! There goes my rep. Ah. God, it was a good lap as well! Damn it! Oh, what a plum! Welcome in, Rowett. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, my God. Last. F fucking idiot. Just the corner. I took the corner too early. 
Oh, what an absolute spud. Oh, it was a fantastic lap as well. Anyway, guys, um, like I said, we, we take it on the chin. Um, I want to be a bit further up the order, but I've actually failed to hit my objective of 19th and I mocked it at the start. <laughs> what an absolute penis. Oh, dear. And there goes my reputation. Invite, what, you coming into the stream, huh? Give me a second, bro. Just gonna get myself nailed in. <laughs> get you in. Okay. Yeah, man, no worries. Give me a second. Guys, I'm bringing Rara into the party. Um, this is gonna be intriguing. Oh, we fucked up bad. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that was kind of a bit unexpected. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a mongo! Here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. 19th, well, pff, I'm not mocking this this time. Fuck, let's try and beat somebody. Invited Rara into party. Um, the invite's there, dude, by the way. <clears throat> you are currently exceeding our expectations. Well done, as he's sitting on the wall. <laughs> in an in a Azerbaijani hospital. Oh, no, wait there. Give me a second, guys. Just trying to bring Rara in now. Um, still waiting for him to come in. Invited you, bro. Rara, right, right, I invite you in, bro. I'm still waiting for you to come in. If not, I'll have to go. A limited time, of course. A lot to do tonight. Come on, Rara. Get a party. Gonna go and have a cigarette at the front door, I think, as well, while I'm waiting. Um... Right, okay guys, this is important now. We need to go and get the components changed. Uh, at least then we'll be able to run in a fresh vein. Ten views! Hey, that's what we need. Luckily, most of the ten didn't see me just blow up, which is <laughs> which is um nice, I guess. Um, partly Renault are now the third favourites for us. Um, that'd be an interesting little career call, wouldn't it? Um, I've sent three invites over, bro. Right, right, right I'm going to open the party up. Jump in. Hey, no way else happened, buddy. Wait, you fucker. Hey, there you go. That's him. Are you going to be my guest commentator, Rara? I feel like I should. <laughs> well, just to make sure that my reins are still here so we can do some Elder Scrolls after. Get your audio included, fella. Guys, in the uh, chat now, already. it is ESR Forza Rara. How you doing, my man? Are you wearing ESR Forza Rara? Uh -huh. You're now just Forza Rara. How you doing? <laughs> uh, well, I think the, I think uh, most of the guys here might know me as Raratron89. So, That's the one. like oh, say, uh, here, to, here to <laughs> watch uh, your stream. I'll be uh, slightly behind you, of course, because obviously you'll 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 be commenting as you, as you see it. I'll be seeing it from the uh, the street, well, the viewer's point of view. And like I said, it's going to be an, it's going to be an interesting one. I mean, it was just a shame you you know that from what I saw the uh, the 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 lap looked good, 
It was just a shame that you lost it when you did. The last corner as well. I mean, come on. <laughs> the fucking last corner of everything. Anybody who's new to the stream, guys, of course, please feel drop that follow button. You will see many more blow-ups in this season, I promise. As, like I said, man, especially with Silverstone coming up, you didn't need that. You really didn't. <laughs> ah, um, I really didn't. <laughs> I generally didn't. Mind you, I think what really fucked it for me was um, the Canada smash up in practice. I lost all of my rep for that. Because I had a bad session and I just plumbed it in the wall. So it kind of really did. I did uh, Monaco as well. I'll, I'll, Didn't do many favors. How did you do that race? Um. Give me a second, just finish off my fag, as it is between qualifying and the race, as always. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> Guys, by the way, a much a must watch if you want to go back and watch a race that will leave your heart in your mouth. Um, I will give one spoiler away. There was a 360 degree spin off the wall going at the exit of two, sector one. I survived. <laughs> so um, and usually in his in his streams. That doesn't usually happen. No, I hit the wall and sort of did a pirouette, and like, if I'd have carried on going with my spin, I would have lost my wheel. But then I kind of sort of stopped. I was chasing down Ricardo. Ricardo had a problem, and I managed to overtake him. Came sixth in the end, which is amazingly higher than I was running at any point in the race. But with a broken wing from an earlier incident, a stop go penalty because I put the pit lever on and then accidentally pressed it off. I think it was DRS. But oh, yeah, other than that. Um, 10 views, 15 apparently on the screen. Ivy Live, by the way. Um, Welcome in, my man. Welcome in, guys. Get yourself settled in. Get your beers. Get your pop. Get whatever you want. And I've just let the fucking open his secrets play. Well, I'm there. fucked. Hash that copyright. You'll be watching like this on laptop. Oh, oh no. Not well, sort of. <laughs> oh, Perez second. In pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid. Wow, he's legitimately beat the mix. Hamilton, Kimi Raikkonen, and Verstappen. Ocon, the Foss India Ricardo, is generally and a quick Kevin car. Anderson, After this latest Rosen, patch, is it's like it's on steroids. Perez is literally in the championship fight. Palmer on a penalty, yes! 19th, good stuff. I'm on the left hand side of the grid, I think. Or am I? Please be on the left. I'm on the right, fucking fantastic. You're on the right. Um, oh no, right. you're on the left! Oh, I'm on the right. <laughs> no, I'm on the right. A lot of fuel, oh, obviously, MGUK is going to get the bum fucked out of it in this one. Um, so, right, okay, let's get the old glasses cleaned. And let's get rolling, ladies and gentlemen, on with well, Azerbaijan like Grand Prix. Like I it's a lot better. It's a lot better than the conditions were uh, through Season 2. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I survived that race. You, so you did, actually, thing. despite a few little, a few tiny incidents. Here we go, guys. We're about to get underway here at the Baku Grand Prix. A bit positively glad. Here we go. Brick test on Palmer! And it's the... Sorry, I always do it. <laughs> just like, go, go, go! Oh... Like I said, it can't be any worse than my it can't be worse than my bloody uh stop stop go thing in that uh was it classic race that I did? Oh my uh, I did a classic race as well. Um in kind of the classic event I chose the well the fans chose the Ferrari 2004 and clever dick here went what happens if I go by Rouge flat out? Yeah, that was the end of the stream. Did you <laughs> <laughs> Check that out guys as well. It's um, it, it's it's one of, that race is one to watch. I had an amazing start from I think it was um, a length on the grid in the end. No, was I no? I was ninth actually. I was ninth on the grid. Which I'm nowhere. Yeah, I was ninth because I came sixth and gained three places. But um, yeah, I was ninth on the grid. Um, did really well at the start. I think I was battling with Grosjean the whole way through. I was running in seventh. I did a one stop. Then the rain came, and then the rain stopped. And Jeff gave me an unbelievable strategy that put me from what could have been fifteenth place to sixth. So. Kudos to Jeffrey. Um, you know, she makes a good decision for fucking once in his miserable, pathetic life. I've already asked Michelle Keegan if she could be my race engineer, but I might get distracted looking at the pit wall, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> yep. So we are going here live, I'm guys. Not, I'm not going to comment on that one. Oops, let's spin the tyres up here. Get some heat into them. Uh, the castle section. You're not far behind, actually. Do my usual stereotypical pause, by the way, guys, as well. That's not pause in Scottish, that's pause. <laughs> Just so we can check the tyres and build up the suspense the as well. Oh, I'd say the suspense, but I just want some lemonade. 
<laughs> Basically, that's all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yes, or maybe building I'll... suspense. But it's mainly because I want lemonade. Should we do a, should we do a what happens next compilation? Every motherfucker is on the super softs. So we're gonna have the same strategy here as well. This is an absolute come on king pause. Yes, no way. We'll, we'll, we'll just, do our best. Well, like I said, we've just got a hope we've just got a hope that basically something happens. <laughs> Uh, oh, the it girls, will. Actually. This is Azerbaijan, and it's me in the fucking race, so something will happen. Mind you, the Monaco race, I've, I've, I'm not sure if you caught that back, Rara, when I did a dive bomb on Jolie and Palmer, it broke the game. I actually broke the game. It's it's one to watch, guys, on the YouTube. Check it out. I still Definitely. need to see that, because I want to see what you mean by broke the game. <laughs> the safety car stayed out for an extra lap. <laughs> when it said it was coming in. And I moved from 19th to 8th under safety car conditions, because all the cars started plowing into each other and stopping on track. It was amazing. Van Dorn ah. was running in fifth. So, yeah. You get points in that race. Oh, uh, my last did 10 laps. <laughs> I lost my... No! Uh, no, it, it was over. Whoa, my car's gone left right by itself. My car just went all over this. It's time to focus, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is Baku. Azerbaijani Grand Prix Season 3, Episode number 48. Season 3, Round 8. Let's go. And it's finally a dry race with your co-host, Rarish on 89. Yes, sir. I wish you could actually see this live. Next time I need a webcam or something, that'd be pretty cool. Got three lights, four lights, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's lights out, and we're underway here in the Azerbaijani Grand Prix. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah, I'll wait. Four wide into the first corner. Gee, Palmer, you loony. Salvers have collided into each other. We're going to dip inside oh, here. just got underway now. I'll be having that. I'll be having some of that. Five car overtake, we'll be doing some of that. There we go. That's four, because Stroll's still there. But Van Der Palmer's trying to get on the action here. This is nearly three fucking wide into this corner. Been here before in season one, I'm going to have to make another master as well. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, you were... Uh, switch back on Felipe. Up in the 15th place. Oh my god. Oh, I've not cleared him. I've not cleared him. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ass has got inside of me. Come on. Spin it in, and we're up to 13th place in Azerbaijan. Fucking Jesus. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to settle. The car's got such a frightening pace. I'm at 200 miles an hour, and I nearly pooed myself. Pooed myself. Well done, Pods. This is a great start. This is done. Keep it up. Let's, let's just keep it going. Come on, on Kvyat now. I know I'm quicker than a lot more. Well, God, I've got the Williams behind me. They're quite quicker on there. But we've got Kvyat, who I know I'm quicker than. I had a wheel to wheel drag race with him down the main straight in practice two. Come on! That's how we do. Oz, are you go. open to the fact that. Uh, are, you, are you open up to receiving a possible announcement? Uh, on the straight. I'll tell you when. Uh, -huh. uh, yes. Right. It won't be regular, but I'm. They actually be able to do some races come through with you. Yes! Yes! That's all we lost my idea. Oh my god, we're hauling Kvyat in! We can move it to the first corner. Take that torpedo, that's for Britain season one, and we move up to the 13th place. Oh, I thought I was 13. Yeah, and that's for murdering me that's for murdering me in F1 2016 at Silverstone as well. I remember that. That was hilarious. That was fucking I hilarious. was there. I remember it. <laughs> I was. I, I was the other participant in that race. Nearly witnessed it. I come past and waved at you and you were dead. You didn't really respond much. Uh, no, I was... I, I, I was fuming. You, no, I, I was more concerned about the fact that I said you died. Not really much response out of a dead person. Ooh, bit of hiccups here. That's not good. You can tell as I go around the corner quite aggressive, bouncing over the curb. We're sort of... In our own little world here at the moment, then, it seems. Chasing down the cars in front, keeping Kvyat just behind. Of superior pace to the Toro Rosso, which is rather nice to see. We've got the ultimate upgrade coming in five races time, but the four races it'll be now. Hopefully I don't get it for Hungary or I'll cry. Was, the dra was it for the drag reduction on the engine? Engine. We get the drag reduction, man. That will help you so much when you're behind another car down the street. Oh, miles away from doing that, yeah, bro. Getting all the tyre wear first, chassis. But I will be doing that at some point. I'll need it in this car because it's just, it's just poo. Moment. But it's not poo because I'm currently in 13th place and the cars handle my rear tyres are destroyed. 
absolutely destroyed. 16% already on lap two. Oh, 182 mile hour switch. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Sergio Perez leads the Azerbaijani Grand Prix. I'm sure that's a Perez. I'll have to look now when you go over the line. It'll show you fastest lap. I think sure Perez, I think Perez, Perez is leading. I don't want to check. So I'm going to tell you when you go possible. over the line. No, it doesn't anymore. No, it doesn't. We've got DRS. We haven't had that for a while. Um, I had to no, it's twice, not. guys. Because uh, it was a bit rusty because I'm not using it for a while. I say, man, don't bother like using rich mix or anything because it usually oh, does pay. You use up fuel, use up for fuel like anything around here. I, especially well, I'm like 8.2 laps. Uh, 8.0 laps. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yep. Oh, it's just that corner. I'm overrunning a little bit, which is compromising my exit, which means Kvyat is still stuck with me. Yeah, it's been it's been like it's been the last couple of laps. And I've done that. I don't know whether it's something you normally do or just whether you just can't. Uh, or the car just can't slow down in, in time. Well, the Picasso entry there on the back of Grosjean though. Didn't get the curve rolled the right way. I tell you what, so that has car is not a bad car to drive. Are we finding it, man? I actually really like it. Like I said, it started 18th due to a gearbox penalty in uh, Hungary. And I ended up finishing 4th. Okay, no, I thought it was a mistake that you, went, that you go in there. I thought you were set at Toro. Would have been a championship car, that. It's like a sideways move, which is why I was a little bit confused why you did it. I, because I, I enjoy doing, I enjoy doing that, and I want the aim is to drive for every team. That is what I want to do. Apart from McLaren, because obviously, if I'd known how bad McLaren was going to be on the game, I would have started at McLaren. <laughs> yeah, I, I picked the right choice there. What I'm uh, Grosjean seems to have left us here, but a bit of a scruffy lap. See if we can kind of get back. Just, he takes really weird lines. It doesn't go on the racing line, Grosjean. We're the only AIs that don't. Who is it behind you? It's the torpedo behind you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm just waiting to get wiped out. Don't worry about it. I've already marked it in my fucking diary in five minutes. Um, but we're doing well so far, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently in about our 13th place. And we have got a gap back to 15th. I don't know who's in 15th. I believe it's the Williams cars, I think. Why are they so far down? Unless one of the slower back. It's the Williams. They, 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 they just struggle aerodynamically now. Just no, it's so not. Much, what, Palmer's so done them. More. Palmer is ahead of them. It is just wow. a quick look back. That is a yellow car. Right, so we are now back on Brojo. Definitely not Hulkenberg, I'm guessing. I'm no, guessing Hulkenberg's a little further down the field. Hulkenberg is just around the corner, I think. I think he's about 9th or 10th. I think he's just behind this train up here. Kvyat's just sticking with me. I'm going to keep driving, guys, until the tyres just don't feel right anymore. I'm not going to push into the absolute limit because I don't want to drive around with 65 to 70% worn tyres around the fast left right on 3 2 setup. It's just not going to work. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. You're just going to end up sliding into the wall. Do you want to need that DRS? <laughs> This corner here, this corner is precise. So you really oh! should be okay. I'm gonna give people who want me to do well a heart attack, and people who don't want me to do well a heart attack. Because I'm gonna hit that wall. I'm telling you now. Give it on DRS. Come yeah, on, take my car. It's going for this one. It'll be the second straight, man. I've noticed with the AI, they struggle on this straight. It's the next straight that they tend to make the move. In this round, probably going to do a one stop here, guys. Going to the medium tyres and just grind it out to the end of about lap 10 or 11. We'll be pitting for them. Medium or soft? soft? Medium. Well, I'm saying that, I don't know. Let's see how far these come. 28% weight on halfway through lap 5 will probably be the mediums. One. I just want to, I want a nice, easy run to the end. My tyre wear has been shit recently, I don't know why. Maybe an idea to upgrade, upgrade the uh, tire wear factor. Oh, you actually got that corner right for a change. Uh, maybe maybe it might be an well. idea to upgrade, start upgrading the uh, the tire wear. Uh, oh, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. That's exactly what I'm doing. 
You read my mind, or I probably said it in about 12 other streams. <laughs> I need that tyre wear upgrade. If I do, I can start running all the soft compounds and one stop almost every race. So that'll be good. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, I should have been a death. That should have been a death. Breaks way too late into that corner. We go around now. Oh, you did as well. Oh, in practice, I bounced over it to spin into the wall and survived. Oh. You're going to get away with that so many times. I'm getting closer. I don't know if I'll be finishing this, but we'll have a go, obviously. How of it does look, how of it does look like you are closing your crush on? Yeah, we're static gap at the moment. It is kind of, it is kind of, he is coming towards you, then going away again through certain parts of the track. It's my mistakes. If, if I had a perfect lap, I think I'd be able to get him up the RS, but we'll wait and see. Let's well, see, guys. guys. Positive channel, do hit that follow, do hit that follow button so you can see more and more content coming from Positive. And let's say you get a race pretty much every single day. And a pure energetic commentary from the man himself, Mr. Positive. We're going to drop him a follow, guys. And of course, subscribe to his YouTube page so you can see what's happened in this race so far. And believe me, there is a lot of entertaining races in that series. Uh, to let you guys know, there's actually a meme written by RRL about me. <laughs> so if you know a, a random guy with about 265 track, followers, actually. it was. It was actually just up the road. You know, every time I go through here, I'm nervous, but come on. Oh, <laughs> just around this corner coming up here, it was. It's at the exit of the castle. It was here. It was a very similar move that I did. Yeah, we're beginning to struggle here. Jeff wants me another strategy. I'm actually all ears. Not for that, I'm not. Well, Fuck off. In my, in my Bahrain race, I did an extra stop. Um, and it actually worked out for me. I'm tempted to go to about lap 8. Then lap sixteen. Then all eight. You might. You should. Whoa! Oh Come. my God! I'm gonna blow up! I'm gonna blow up! I'm getting worse and worse through that corner. And Kivyat has now got a run on me here. We're going three you fucking could get wide. Fourteen laps out of them soft towers. Three wide. Oh, Jesus Christ! Switch back on Palmer. Bloody hell! Guys, get that clipped up. Guys, get this clipped up. Seriously. Grosjean, slow it down. Oh, nice move into turn one. And Grosjean has an issue. Grosjean, I wonder if it's a breaking issue. Oh, well, he's got his issue's probably that he's French. No offense to any of my French viewers. I do love you, of all, of course, as individuals. It's alright. He'll probably get to. It'll probably, probably be morning and get to hope to shut up off his engineer again. Yeah, he probably, he probably hit the anti-moan switch and they turn his car off, you know what I mean? Amazing. It was a nice apartment. move, Ivy. It was a nice move. Grosjean is going incredibly slow here. We've absolutely hauled in on him here, but we usually do that around this part of the track. One of my best moves ever, that. It was incredible. Got another lap. Oh, I'm doing, um, I'm going to come in at 8. 8, and then I'm going to pit for softs. And then I'm going to do a... Maybe able to stretch. Super softs. You may be able to stretch. You may be able to stretch those tyres. Ugh! If it wasn't for my rears, I'd be going right to the end. I'm going to keep driving anyway. I just want to see how this left-right goes. But now we're going to have a... F we may have a four-wide here, guys. Grosjean is slow from these heavy braking zones. Oh, we had a much better corner there. I this is has. going to be mental. You thought the last one was bad. I reckon he is. I reckon he has got a breaking problem. This is going to be a gifted spot. Oh my god, what an amazing defensive move by Gro. He actually made a defensive move. And there's a car in the pits. There's Lewis Hamilton coming up right in front of us. And he's gone on to the ultra. Ooh. Super sorry. Forgive me. Palmer just dive Bob Grosjean. What a madman. <laughs> yeah, he's Palmer. Oh, the temptations are just. Oh, like I said, it's probably going to be the last F1 game. We're going to see Palmer and Kivyat on. Palmer definitely. Well, no, I'd say Kivyat definitely, isn't it? But I wasn't really well, impressed by Palmer. He's not, hasn't he? 
Uh, I think he's just for this race, I think it is, isn't it? No, he's been dropped. He, he's been said, uh, Toro said he won't drive for us again. Speaking of kids, I love how I just been, I've had a three wide with two guys who were kicked out of F1. Look, that's pretty awesome. 52 on the tyres. Ah. I'm one stopping it. I'm going to pit only on lap 10 for mediums. It's a risk. It's a calculated risk. I've not got the pace to hold these guys back in for if they're doing one stops. Need to remember to, to, uh, to keep that around my controller every so often. Yeah, well, yeah. It dies on you. Done that before. Is your controller ready for the next part? Oh, it's oh um oh that's a point I don't even know. It'll be it'll, well last. I'll wait there. I'll have a check. Actually, I'll check that. Wait that. Yep. There's JP run, dives. He's, he's oh good lord! He cannot overtake me. Nico Hulkenberg is pitting. Goodbye, Kipiap. Yeah, goodbye, Kipiap, Marky. Uh, yeah, like I say, I don't get it though, because he's he scored a point in the Austin last time out in real life. And Hartley, I mean, I know Hartley, I know Hartley, I know Hartley's got to get used to, uh, you know, driving in F1 and whatnot, but still, I don't know. He's got inside, we get him back. Unbelievable driving by the pair of us, we are really kicking the shit out of each other here. 7%, I've got to take it really easy going around this, this complex. <laughs> oh, that was a great move going into that corner. Down the inside of Johnny and Palmer. Nothing he could do there. Great move from the McLaren driver. Yes, sir. Still only in 11th place, but... I say only, we started last, so we're not doing that bad. Oh my god. Wing! Wing I off! Did. Wing off I... to the castle! Oh no. No, not me! Oh, if it's me, I'm crying by now. Don't worry about it. Who's it, who's it, it? I don't know. It was a black, blacky color wing. Oh, I, I, I couldn't see the sun was shining on it. <laughs> I couldn't see the team right over that curve very nicely. Dude, I thought you said he was pitting on lap eight. Nope. Change my mind. Mediums. I'm doing a one stop. I want a comfortable end to the race. Oh, it's over! <sighs> over. Game over. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh man, unlucky. He said it was coming. Well, this season is full of roller coasters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, hashtag Steve. Can we all put in the comments, guys? Hashtag pray for Pos. Pos and yeah. uh, maybe hashtag uh, McLaren season four. <laughs> no, I'm not driving this car around this track again. God, it's awful. Oh dear. More failure. Did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, Lucky man, these things, the, these things happen. I got wiped out in Silverstone by Pascal Verlaine. I know how it feels. I was on course for a points finish here easily. Again. I almost only got fourth and he's celebrating that, so it must have been a shit race. Oh, that's fucked me off. Sergio Perez is on the podium! Again! And it's time to let it all sink in. Let's have a look at the standings. He's absolutely miles ahead of everyone here. Started second, finished second from Sergio. Corey, what should we do with you? Glad says was back. Um, hashtag luck. I don't know, because the skill's there. I don't know. Like I say, guys, car is improving all the time. Just at the minute, it's just mixed in with a bit of bad luck. We're coming to races now that do favour Paul himself personally, so he will drag that car right up from the gutter. It is going to be an interesting mid-season before the summer break, before we go to the flyaway races. This is make or break now. Make or break with the upgrades, uh, trying to start trouble during the races, and I have absolutely every faith Impulse that he can do that. I really oh, do. Oh, Perez, third in the championship. 
second on the track as well. Perez, this is his fifth podium this season, by the way. Fifth podium. And amazing, I beat him in Canada, which would have... Well, mind you, I would have got my first podium if it wasn't my penalty, driving off the track and then Perez. So I would have been up there. Like I say, man, you're at Austria next. Silverstone, Hungary, Spa, Austria. They're all tracks that I do favour, but... Obviously, with the 10% boost as well, um, it's not what we needed at all. Honestly, no one. I mean, you've got to lose there. reputation, but you've got to build it back again. Up as well. <laughs> oh, I've lost loads. Oh my god, forcing near on zero with me. <laughs> Just like nope. Oh, I'm fucking stuck with this right, bag of shit again. So you've got your your resource points are 910. Nowhere near what I need. I need that bloody um thousand. I need a thousand here. But that small frustrating there. Anything else? I'll be honest with you, I'm actually quite fucked off with that. That's really put a damper on it. Uh, we'll go through, get our practice components set up for later on. I'll go ahead a wall in a minute. <laughs> Fucking seriously, that was I, can't, I, I can't believe I did my, my I can't believe I did my Hungarian Grand Prix at half six in the morning. I'm, I might start doing that to be honest with you. These evening races just bring me explosions. Doing well to keep composure here, but you guys all know how fucked off I am right now. But, you know, it's all part of the course, again, I guess. But, I've got to keep looking at the positives here. I mean, look, no pun intended. Fourth in Melbourne, ah. eighth in Spain, sixth in Canada. I mean, the car is there when I put the fucking metal to the grind. But, I should have pitted on lap eight. Looking back on it. Because then I wouldn't have had the problem with the weaker right front. There's nothing I could do. So it's just. It wasn't. Oh you God. just lost. You just lost. You just, you just lost grip. That, That's correct. That, that, I wouldn't that have was it. Uh, if I didn't pit, if I pitted, I wouldn't have had that problem. But I didn't. Right. R and D event. Can oh. I have a quick word? Can I have a quick word. Listen, Ooh. I don't think the car is hitting its performance targets right now. What? We really do have to What's this? Take a look at the oh, Chris! We'll I've been that. slagged off the fuck. Who the fuck are you? He is, he... I had that earlier. Oh my god, Salba! Ooh, what's an upgrade? Give it an ultimate upgrade. I think that's oh a look at what it god, is. Mixed that, conditions around Austria. That, I, I don't reckon that's not. I don't reckon that's an ultimate. But my god, they've put a big one in. That's an engine upgrade. That. No, it's not. You'll be surprised. It's not an engine upgrade. Um, they're on the same bar on engine. It's not chassis either. Aerodynamics? No, I think it just had loads of little upgrades, to be honest with you. As you can see, guys, we are still waiting on our ultimate upgrade. That'll be coming in. It doesn't tell you when it arrives, which is a little bit annoying. It doesn't still. It does three weeks. It does. So three weeks. It finally weeks. does. It didn't say before. It kept saying it was stuck on six weeks until this Grand Prix. Um, so that's good. Three weeks. So, guys, we've got Austria, Britain, and Hungary. So it does arrive in Belgium. Thank fuck it does arrive in Hungary. I would cry. Oh, right. it's arrive at Belgium. Uh, yeah, the only problem is I've got to go high Rouge. speed. Up a rouge with an ultimate engine upgrade. I'm gonna fucking take off. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what. Going up a rouge in my hat at the minute. <laughs> the back end feels very shaky. <laughs> Don't Ladies like and it. gentlemen, <laughs> this has been a disaster. Another one, uh, sort of. Um, please be sure to make sure you drop a follow on the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you spam follow. Guess what? I got a little trick in the chat. Merry Christmas. I put an exclamation mark. I didn't write what I was meant to write. Here you go, guys. Look at this. Mr. Nightbot, get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, follow that instruction. Get yourself into the link in the Twitch description. Follow me on YouTube. Make sure you drop likes on the video. And have a little flick back on the rest of the stuff. Subscribe if you like what you see. This is Positive. The Glad with ESR. Rara. He was ESR. We're not ESR. We're Paz Rara Army. Hashtag boom. Good night. Speak to you very, very soon. Goodbye for now. Take care, guys.